hello guys welcome back to the channel and today i'm going to show you how can you play your switch games using an emulator called eden so this is one of the new emulator in the market and it allows you to play switch games on your pc so let's get started and first just open three of the links they have links in the description box below and let's download the eden emulator first okay so once you get this website eden-emu.tv and you can see that this is the official website of it you can check the system requirements here first for a cpu and also your gpu and your ram so if you meet these minimum requirements you can get back and also click on the download button it's available from windows mac os linux and also android so i'm going to show for you to install it on windows system just click here to download it will link you to a github website and this is the latest version which is eden version 0.02 0.3 and now you scroll down and you can find assets here you can see it's got android and also linux but you can see here the button to show all of the 15 assets click on it and also you can find windows so now click on windows and we will start to download after then next also download the prod keys and click this button to download and also download the latest version of the firmware of clicking this button so now that all of the three uh, were downloaded now just exit the browser and also i will open file explorer and hit to download and i will see three of the files here so now need to uh, extract the eden first so now click on extract all and click on extract you can see it automatically pops up and windows okay so i'll minimize it first and now extract the firmware okay so last let's extract the prod keys okay so now we have three of it extracted you can just double click into the eden folder and you can see a bunch of files here what we're looking for is this eden application file now we can double click on it and click on run and you see that this migration or something error here what you need to do is just click on no and click ok we can get this encryption keys are missing uh, error it's definitely fine just click ok and now what's the important part is to click on tools and install decryption keys now go to downloads and prod keys prodkeys.net and select the prod.keys and open it you get this decryption keys install succeed information and click on ok now click on tools again install firmware and from a folder now go to downloads and select the firmware folder which we extracted earlier click on select folder and you can see it's installing firmware okay so now it's successfully installed so now you can um, go to emulation and configure you can see your settings here about uh, what are the graphic settings you are going to go for i'm going to keep the resolution as 1x you can choose 2x if you have a better pc with a higher graphics card but I'm just going to keep it the default and also audio and also the most important for the controls so controls you can have the door joycons, left joycon like you can set it for all your own preferences and I only have my keyboards and mouse so I'm going to go for the default add players here 
and also if you have a controller you can just add it uh, add it to connect to the PC and you can uh, set the uh, keys accordingly okay so now double click here to add a game which uh, add a folder which contains your games so I have my games in my documents folder and you can download the NSP game files uh, by googling and I cannot show you how to specifically download in YouTube but you can just search it online or just google it to download the files so now I've select my um, folder and you can see I have one game which is Mario Party Superstars double click on the game and click on OK okay so you can see I have some um, glitches here which I cannot uh, control it correctly and this is one of the problems with my computer so let's solve this uh, let's show you how to solve this issue so just click on emulation and click on stop here click on yes okay so now just go to emulation configure and now click on graphics just change this api from vulkan to opengl click on ok and now you can see it's opengl here double click the game again ok ok so you can see it's normal now you have the startup screen and you can see you can control the game and you have the selection here so you can see that i can control the game successfully and i can play the game successfully so if this video helps you i hope that you can give me a subscribe and also like my video and share it to your friends or family uh, for helping them so if you have any information that you want me to give you or you can encounter some problems you can leave a comment down below and i will try my best to help you so i will see you in a video next time bye